Hi, my name is Mermaid Michelle, and today we're going over the two monofins that I have behind me, the Finnis Luna monofin and the Mahina Murfin monofin. I went ahead and took a swim today at my local pool, and there were some really big differences between the two. I'm going to go a bit over each monofin, going to talk about their construction, what they're made of, the type of foot straps they have, the kind of release that they have for safety reasons, and how they swim in the water. So this is the Finesse Luna monofin. It is a very flexible silicone rubber monofin. Um, as you can see, it's got quite a bit of flop. It's pretty flexible and even more so in the water. Um, the kind of foot straps that we have here, we have two separate foot pockets with silicone backings. These straps are adjustable. Uh, I found that even though on land, my foot fits better in the farthest strap. In the water, my feet stay more in the monofin on the next uh, hole up. And you may need to adjust your monofin in the water. I would recommend doing that in the more shallow end. Uh, this monofin can take quite a good beating. Um, it's gotten some scrapes, some scratches already from one swim because the pool that I have local to me is concrete. So, if you're worried about that sort of thing, I would say the Luna seems to have kept up pretty well. There's a couple scrapes that I can see superficially through the light, but it's not honestly that bad. Uh, on the bottom, let's see here. No, it, it actually looks like it went pretty well. Even the bottoms of the foot pockets that have the scale design, that stayed pretty stable. So overall, uh, in the water, this was easy to put on, it was easy to adjust, and when I was swimming with it, I felt more like a fish, more like a mermaid, than I think I ever have in my entire life, swimming uh, and mermaiding, specifically. I don't know about uh, making a tail skin for this yet, I know that Courtney Mermaid has made a tail skin for this already, and uh, several for other mermaids as well. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do the same sort of thing, and we'll see how that goes. I think that it's going to work out pretty okay as long as I don't make it too tight to the monofin, like I would on the uh, Aquarius because it's more rigid. This is the Mahina Murfin. It is from Mahina Mermaid in Australia. This is a mermaid designed, tested, and approved monofin. Uh, what that basically means is some, someone has gone through the process of making sure that this is a safe monofin before they uh, decided to sell it. It's made out of recycled rubber, recycled materials, which I find really interesting because as an eco-friendly mer myself, I'd rather things be made, more things be made out of recycled materials than not. As far as getting this monofin on, it's certainly more difficult. You don't have the convenience of adjustable straps or being able to take off the strap to remove it. So what you have to do basically is, the easiest way I found this, is to lay this on a flat surface and step into it like you would step into a pair of shoes and kind of push your heels down into the foot pockets here um, so that your heels go back. You can use a shoehorn or your fingers pulling on the back to get your heel in there. Um, once the monofin is on, there's only a few areas for me with my feet because I have nine-ish wide feet. Sorry, size nine US wide feet. Um, this Murfin, while it fits me lengthwise, widthwise, I can feel rubbing on the tops of my feet here and on the sides of my feet here. Um, other than that, there is like no comparison in speed. This thing will get you through the water like incredibly fast. I have not ever gone faster when I was doing the recording that you're gonna see. I just zoomed through the water and I tried not to hit someone so I quickly banked and swam back. Um, being able to do that all in one breath was 
pretty great. I have some breathing difficulty, so I can't stay underwater forever, but I am a good enough swimmer that I can at least get back and forth pretty okay in one breath. Um, so I was quite surprised at the flexibility of this monofin as well. It is quite big, so it pushes a lot of water very quickly. I'm not sure how I feel about the scalloped design in the fin and the way it kind of goes out. I would rather have a fin that goes in, more like a fish, but I think for looking like a mermaid, this one got me the most compliments on looking like a mermaid. Even though I feel more comfortable and feel more like a mermaid in the Luna, I can understand the appeal to other kids and other adults. When they see the Mahina, they think, that's a mermaid fin. That looks like a mermaid tail, absolutely. And you know, that's just preference. Everyone's preference is different. As far as making a tail skin specifically for the Mahina, because it is so wide out, you would have to make sure you got fabric that was wider than the widest part of the Mahina because unless you're a bigger mer, and I am a bigger mer, but I mean like bigger than this mer, you probably want to just have fabric that is as wide as your mahina is for making a fabric tail. If you're making a silicone tail to go over the mahina, well, you would make the fluke separately probably, and you would make the fluke to fit the mahina fin specifically. I think that both fins have their merits. They're both very powerful in the water. Um, each has its own particular feel. And I was very satisfied with both of them. I'm probably going to end up making a tail skin for the Luna because that's the more comfortable for my feet, the um, more mermaiding feeling for me. But you, you go ahead and use whatever monofin you think fits you the best. If it's the if it's the Luna, if it's the Mahina Murfin, if it's the Finnis Aquarius, or if it's like the Fin Fun monofin or the Suntail monofin, or other third-party proprietor monofins. They all have their pluses and their minuses, you know, things that make them go and things that maybe make them unsafe. My best recommendation for monofins is research them. See if you can find videos of reviews of people that do monofin or other mermaid reviews. Other than myself, I know that Nerd Made Faith makes a lot of monofin reviews and different fabric tail reviews so she is a great resource as well i know courtney mermaid has reviewed the luna monofin and i think she has also she's made a tail for the mahina so i think she's reviewed it a little bit as well regardless of where you are on the monofin spectrum if you like the harder plastic monofins the ones that are covered in neoprene silicone or rubber monofins or uh, polycarbonate monofins even. Wherever you fit on that, as long as you're safe and you're having fun, that's what really matters. As far as which ones I'm going to be using in the future, I think that for water events and such, I will be using the Luna monofin for specifically in pool events, for getting me going and uh, going through if I'm doing specifically land events or in a pool but not power my swimming my way through or in a tank or anything i may use the mahina as it's a more mermaidy looking fin um it definitely has that wow appeal with kids and parents and i think that over um with a tail skin over it it may even look better so this has been my review of these two monofins here if you have a preference let me know in the comments if you think that there are other monofins that maybe perform better or you want to talk about how different monofins compare for you, please do so in the comments. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and give it a like because that's what that's for. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider throwing me a subscription and checking me out. Regardless, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a happy swimming time. Bye!